Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Wake up, people. This is Ted here with another Word Nerd Wednesday. It's great to see all your smiling faces. You're watching the premier Word Origins and Derivations channel. It isn't words you don't know or haven't used, but it's where does the word come from? Well, this week's word is hogwash. And looking it up, I found that there was a hogwash shampoo, hogwash drink for kids, there's uh, the hot wash car wash, and then of course a Harley Davidson is called a hog, so if you washed the hog, it would be a hogwash. And you know how the phrase is used now, it's hogwash, meaning nonsense, malarkey, bull****. But where does the word come from? Now some people say it's derived from pig swill, which is the partly liquid food that is fed to pigs. <laughs> It actually comes from the 1800s in the steamboats. As you may know, hogs stink. In the United States, 1800 steamboats carried passengers along the inland waterways of the United States. The wealthy travelers stayed in their staterooms and ate in the upper deck dining room. Since they didn't have refrigeration, they kept live animals on the lower deck in pens. One of these animals were hogs. The aroma of the hogs was offensive to the passengers. So the deckhands would wash the hogs. And that is where the term began. Also, when a passenger ate a hog in the upper deck dining room, it was called eating high on the hog. And that's where that comes from. Well, there you go. That's the word for this week. And just remember, guys, it's never too late to redo, rebuild, reboot, restart, rekindle, rebirth your life. You can always turn it around and go in any direction you like. Let's create a renaissance on Earth. Oh, and one more thing. Did a homeless man leave soap on your windshield after he bathed on it? Hogwash it. You have tires? Hogwash them. Do you just f***ing love soap? Hogwash it. There's nothing you can't hogwash. This is my car. It cost over $5 million. And look at what I'm going to do. I'm going to show the hogwash that this is as close as it's ever going to get to owning this vehicle. Oh, whoops. Looks like it left some tears on my hood. Luckily, I had this rag. The hogwash is made 100% in America, which means we must now change the national anthem to include the hogwash in it.